<laughs> this guy's toast. Hey guys, this guy's toast here. Today we have another spot the misplay video, where you guys try to find a mistake I made during one of my games. Maybe it's a mislethal, or doing things in the wrong order, or perhaps just bad minion positioning. It's up to you guys to try and find it. Today's game is a little special. It's actually from one of my tournament games, specifically my match against Kalento at Seed Story Cup. Yeah, the mid-range Paladin is coming up right now, and wow, Toast has assumed final form, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. The writing is on the wall, he dropped down to losers, now it's time for the real Toast to come out and play. Time to get serious. Yes. After starting the series with two quick losses in a row, I had to rely on my final deck to make a comeback. Yeah, set it up quite nicely and takes a quick 2-0 lead. Man, this Paladin deck is so scary. Yeah. Nothing Colento can do to stabilize. Yep. And he sees it, concedes, and gives Toast a game win. So now Colento has two more chances to beat this quest mage from Toast. I think it's faster if you chain the other spells too to get more fireballs. I'm not exactly sure. Yes, because the yes it is. Yeah. I but just I just like how Toast pretty much played all Aww. Aww. <laughs> I just Come like on. how he played pretty much all the spells in his deck except for Yorg. Yes. <laughs> York and the second ice block, that's it. <laughs> oh my god. This priest is going to have to have some way of doing things that most priest decks can't do, which is dealing damage to face. After managing to squeak by against his Murloc Paladin and overcoming his Jade Druid, it was down to the match decider. His Miracle Priest against my Quest Mage. With a brutal Divine Spirit and a Fire Combo, Kalento had me on the ropes how many spells have been played honestly because he's had this handful of minions the whole game he hasn't toned there aren't that many natural spells in the deck right like the spells that you cast are the randomly generated ones a lot yeah. of the time and the count is super low i don't honestly don't know how high the yog count is i don't think it's that high but yeah the that's a big smack the, oh, turn, wow. the turn's going down as it's described popped out one and still that perfect seven damage to go into the doomsayer and he does have this holy holy, holy smite from lyra as well oh Oh my god. Oh, got him. So the dream. The dream has died. Glyph into ice block. Come on, find yourself a turn. With no more ways left to stall and my quest still incomplete at 2 out of 6, I had to go for a Hail Mary play. Uh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, baby. We can go now. So this is the sequence where I made a mistake. I'm going to play it in its entirety, and you guys try to figure out just exactly what the mistake was. Ready? Here we go. Now is the time. But, but what's the quest count again? Two, Two out of six. And only a primordial glyph, arcane missiles, and counter spell being playable. Yes. So he needs one more spell. He gets one more draw, which can be yeah any spell that generates uh, yeah Kabbalah's tome off the top, like anything that generates something random, he'll be good. Wait, he can play Shudder now because yeah. of the Blizzard. Oh, you're right. Blizzard's a huge draw. That, is <laughs> that was actually a perfect pickup right yep. there. Wait, so... He so doesn't have to do it now. Wins. He doesn't have to do it now. But I guess he can. Might as well, yeah. He needs to save a spell for Antonidas next turn, though. To start the chain, right? Yeah. So he, he just plays to He's it. He's just going to draw one, right? Yeah. Ah! Uh, and choose the last spell. He has to. He has to use the last spell this turn oh, to get the free turn. Okay, so he so needs... this comes down to whether he draws a spell next turn oh to start the god. Antonidas chain. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, Toast has to go all in here. Oh boy. The fate of Disguised Toast and Quest Mage comes down to this one Holy draw! Holy crap! Oh my <laughs> god! Disguised Toast! Wow. Wow. Miracles do happen, Saddle. I cannot believe this. Exodia obliterate! <laughs> <laughs> and Colento just takes it. He is in defeat. I am speechless. What an insane series. I'm so happy I got to cast this one with yeah. you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. It was like so last minute as well. We just didn't have a caster. Like, hey, Tyler, do you want to do it? Oh, yeah, sure. 
and York still in hand, but he will get his time to shine, I'm sure. Yes. Yes, he will. So did you spot it? After placing down the two sources apprentice, I was left with six mana. I had a free primordial glyph, which then gave me a blizzard. With blizzard, I could now play my shatter, allowing me to complete my quest at the total cost of three mana. Two for blizzard and one for counterspell which would then give me the time warp quest reward that I can play with my remaining 3 mana due to the discounts from the apprentice. Then I can simply drop Antonidas next turn and play my Molten Reflection on my apprentices allowing me to play infinite fireballs for the win. I'm out of cards. You require my The mistake was, I did not have to play both Molten Reflections on the initial turn. Had I just saved one, I could have used it to trigger Antonidas' ability and win the game. Instead, I used both and relied on top decking a spell. Luckily for me, I was not punished for this mistake and drew a Primordial Glyph, giving me the win. The fate of Disguised Toast and Quest Mage comes down to this one draw! Oh! Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god, Disguise Toast! Wow. Wow. Miracles do happen, Saddle. This was a case of throwing away guaranteed lethal, and I could have potentially lost the game because of it. The reason why I wanted to highlight this mistake was to show that in Hearthstone, winning doesn't necessarily mean you played well, and losing doesn't necessarily mean you played badly. Win or lose, it's important that you go back and look at some of the things you could have done differently, cards you could have played around. And even when you do play perfectly, sometimes you will still lose games. And if you're ever in trouble, just play Yogg-Saron. That's gonna do it for me guys. Thank you as always for watching. If you want to see my full matches at Seed Story Cup, where I also played against Thais and Strife Crow, you can find them over at Take TV's Twitch channel. Huge thank you to them for inviting me to the tournament. And also, don't forget to comment below on whether or not you were able to spot the mistake right away. Was it too easy? Was it too hard? Let me know. Take care, guys. Hey, lights out.